Hello. Hi, everybody. Uh, you, you must be surprised. I am not Vinay Suram, uh, but I'm Radha Gopalan. <laughs> and Vinay, uh, unfortunately, due to some unavoidable circumstances, he's not been able to join us. So I will be facilitating this conversation with uh, Meena. Um, but before we start, yeah, uh, but before we start, let me just say a few words about I Wonder. Yeah, um, I Wonder is a science magazine for middle and high school teachers. Um, it features writings about the many dimensions of teaching and learning of science, uh, both inside the classroom and outside it. And it's published in English, Hindi and Kannada twice a year. Now, if you're a practicing science teacher, yeah, we invite you to write for us. Um, to do this, please send in your ideas in less than 100 words to I Wonder at apu.edu.ia. Yeah. And if you'd like to receive updates of each webinar and a free print version of each issue, do subscribe to us uh, by following the link that's displayed in the description of this video. Um, you can also catch us on Facebook. Yeah. And now I'd like to welcome everybody to our monthly webinars. Um, as you all know, on the second Wednesday of every month, we invite authors of an article in I Wonder for a live discussion. Now, for this webinar, we have with us Meena Karatmal, author of the article Observing the Microbial World from our latest issue. Meena, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, thanks. Uh, thank you, I Wonder, for the invitation for this conversation. I'm looking forward to it. So Meena works at the Homi Baba Center for Science Education, TIFR in Mumbai. Um, she's involved in developing uh, teaching learning modules for middle and high school science. Uh, Meena is also involved in biology education research in the CUBE project, which I'm sure we'll hear a little bit more from Meena about. Um, and before we sort of begin our conversation with Meena, um, let me just give you a brief overview of the format for the discussion. Right? So for the first 30 minutes, um, I will ask Meena some questions about her article. And those of you who've joined us today, uh, we would like to request you to please type in your questions in the chat box. Right? And in the second 30 minutes, we will choose questions from the chat box for Meena to answer. Okay. So, yeah. Meena, shall we begin our conversation? Or yes, uh, yes. Is, uh, ki hamare, uh, jo, uh, jo, is, uh, is webinar me participate kar rahe Agar aapko Hindi me prashna puchna ho, to please aap Hindi me bhi type kar dijega. Kyunki Meena aur mein fir uh, Hindi me bhi thoda matlab, uh, at least summary bata sakte. Aur Meena bhi Hindi me ka kafi comfortable hai. To hum, uh, matlab, Meena ke jo responses hai, wo hum Hindi me bata ke fir uske baad uh, English me bhi uska. Summary presenters. Yeah. So, Meena, let's begin our conversation. Yes. So, um, Meena, you know your article, right? It's uh, based on a set of activities that you developed as uh, part of the Vigyan Pratibha project at HBCS. For those in our audience um, who are hearing of this project for the first time, can you give us a brief introduction? Uh, how did this whole project start? Ye jo Vigyan Pratibha project hai. And yeah. uh, how useful is it for school science teachers? Yeah. Right. Sure. So let me begin with the uh, I inception of the idea itself. Uh, though the module has been developed as part of the Vigyan Pratibha project, uh, the activity took birth as part of the Q project, uh, which is uh, collaboratively understanding biology education. Now, in CUBE, we engage students to work and uh, conduct experiments with live uh, organisms, uh, such as, you know, a fruit fly, earthworm, uh, uh, snails, which are found in our local locality or, you know, uh, natural surroundings. Now, students themselves work in groups and along with their peers, they culture model organisms uh, and even conduct various experiments using very uh, simple to make uh, media preparation. Media preparation in the sense food for the model organisms. So that media right. food can come from soil, water, potato, banana, tomato, leaves, which are easily also found in our own kitchen or backyard or surroundings. So more mm -hmm. details of Cube can be read uh, from a recent uh, article uh, that is published in Teacher Plus. 
इंग्लिश वर्जन इज पब्लिश इन टीचर प्लस वी ऑल्सो हैव इन हिंदी वर्जन पब्लिश इन एकलव्य संदर्भ एंड मराठी वर्जन पब्लिश इन शिक्षण संक्रमण सो दिस गिव्स अ गुड इंट्रोडक्शन टू द प्रोजेक्ट Now coming Can to the exam paper. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Which issue? Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. This is uh, August. Uh, yeah. Teacher plus is August two thousand twenty-one. The recent a okay. uh, few months okay. back. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Invitation to Cube project. Um, okay. And then uh, coming yeah, back to the huh. yeah coming back to the Vigyan Pratiba project. Uh, so the project is aimed to develop scientific skills. Yeah, the currently the learning units are implemented by teachers in Kendriya Vidyalayas, Jawahar Navodaya Vidyalayas, and Atomic Energy Central Schools. In fact, uh, the article that is written in this uh, I wonder um, was um, uh, the teaching learning model was used in one of the Atomic Energy Central Schools, and uh, that experience is. Uh, you know converted into articles students responses their activities that is converted into um, the article so we thought it, it can you know reach uh, the teachers the practicing teachers and school education so that was the aim of uh, that work so as such and the program yeah 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 bole no no go, yeah. go ahead you were saying as such the program yeah. Yeah. the program the vigyan pratiba project i mean it aims at supporting a quality and well rounded science and mathematics education uh, which is you know based on deep understanding at the same time generating curiosity and uh, to expose mm. uh, expose students to give dimensions of science learning beyond the conventional mode of teaching learning. yeah okay very interesting <clears throat> yeah. so really very useful i mean very sort of practical Um, you know, a resource, yeah. right? In that sense, right, yeah. right. Yeah. So, uh, so uh, one of the aims of the learning unit that you share with us in the article, right, mm -hmm. was to encourage uh, um, first-hand observation of the world around us, right? Yeah. And yeah. Um, you know, in your article, you very clearly say that this is not only vital for the practice of science, right, right, but yeah. also uh, to the teaching and learning of science, right? Right. So I was just yeah. wondering that you know, uh, from this perspective, um, mm -hmm. wouldn't it wouldn't it have been easier to develop a unit around uh, you know, say plants or insects, which are readily visible to the naked eye, right? But mm -hmm. uh, you chose to develop a learning unit around microbes instead. So, wondering if you could uh, share why why yeah. did you choose this system? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's an important point. Uh, of course we all know microbes do play a very important role in the life of earth itself connecting with mm -hmm. ecosystem biodiversity and uh, microbes are everywhere they live in every kind of habitat i mean so much so that terrestrial aquatic atmospheric uh, other living organisms as host and all so they invariably affect the surrounding or environment in which they grow and uh, they help to sustain the uh, uh, ecosystem as well now what we wanted students to give a an idea for life biology just like you know plants and insects now at the megascopic level you know uh, it becomes quite obvious to engage students with plants and insect trees and, you know um, uh, animals and all but uh, you know what lies beneath even a size that is smaller than even 1 mm you know 1 mm is the division of the two divisions uh, on the centimeter scale imagine the world you know the life life forms in those two divisions uh, so we wanted to give an exposure to that uh, tiny life forms what uh, even the scale understanding the scaling of objects uh, that's why we chose this microbes as um, you know, one of the uh, sort of topic for when we were developing the module and uh, another point of interest from say pedagogical aspect is that yeah. uh, through this we wanted to uh, develop skills of observation estimation drawing generating questions uh, that would may not be you know uh, coming up front when uh, we are just uh, reading textbooks or some chapters so this gives mm. rise to curiosity when we look at you know mm. soil or pond water although theoretically we know uh, that there are microorganisms but if, when we see with our own eyes it really opens to a very different uh, world and that too without any sophisticated instrument so that was the idea yeah. behind uh, choosing this topic 
No, yeah. fascinating. I mean, what a what a wonderful reason to really <laughs> pick a, such a micro system, no? And microorganisms right. are, like you said, you know, they they tell us such they tell us the story of life itself, isn't it? In a sense, right? right? Yeah. Right. Right. So, um, so I was wondering, uh, you know, um, one one other point that sort of emerged was that. um you know you you sort of said that you know children carry uh, many preconceived notions right about microorganisms yeah? right right so um i was wondering you know for our uh, particularly the teachers amongst our uh, audience i'm sure they have also come across this uh, this sort yeah. of an experience so could you share some of these uh, you know the most common of these preconceived notions right Mm-hmm. and also yeah, because yeah. again you know microbes like we said earlier they're not visible to the naked eye so how do children develop these notions no right Very right yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah so uh, let me comment this on this point as uh, a researcher in science education now it has yes. been of immense interest to us what students think idiosyncratically mm. Mm. so correct yeah so what are their existing conceptions of anything uh, that they learn or observe from their surroundings now say for example you know students from their everyday experience think that the earth is flat and uh, when mm-hmm. we ask them to show where, can you show us where we live on the earth so you know they show like human figures standing on the sphere they draw sphere as earth and then they show you know human figures standing on the earth so uh, that you know that opens uh, that opens uh, us to into thinking ki what are their idiosyncratic ideas what are the preconceived notions and where are these in- emerging of course these are emerging from everyday experiences their cultural backgrounds etc so such uh, ideas have been of immense interest and uh, of course uh, not uh, uh, it is also very important to say ki these have been historically also very of uh, very much significance uh, in the historical development of ideas itself so coming to the point from you know uh, why were we interested in this uh, preconceived notions so we wanted to know spontaneously you know what students think about uh, microbes first of all we know uh, they they learn these words in uh, just textbooks and they may just see some figures in the textbooks but then uh, spontaneously what are the ideas so this is of immense significance to us as researchers in science education uh because uh, we want to build uh, on uh, build their understanding on what they already know mm. so that's where we wanted to you know uh, uh, have an idea what are they thinking uh, uh, a priori so from students responses it is common that students thinks microbes are typically you know found only in dirty water mm. or pond water and uh, they are disease, there are disease causing agents and mm-hmm. so the preconceived notions you know they are uh, coming from cultural experiences they are imprinted uh, in their minds so you know many times we say children when they come uh, from you know playground or uh, we say wash your hands you know that you are carrying dirt when you are gardening doing gardening wash your hands of course these are uh, you know age old wisdom okay you have to be disease free you have to you know wash your hands and now mm-hmm. nowadays anyway washing hands is has become a norm so uh, it it becomes uh, very much uh, imprinted okay microbes are maybe you know bad they are always disease causing agents so why to worry about them so i mean of course you have to just um, worry about the hygiene point of view but then uh, it is it is where this i think education point of view and the learning happens when you know their beliefs are challenged to the scientific ones yeah. No, that's yeah. very very interesting because uh, it's so true. No, I mean uh, even in the I think it was it's the NCERT eighth standard textbook or something. They have a topic uh-huh. called microbes, friends or foes. Friends or foes. Yes. Yeah, and <laughs> right. and to also know that uh, there is such a large uh, number of microbial species that are extremely that are involved in so many earth processes and you know that have such mm. importance to life itself. Right. I mean in that sense. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I think a related question here could be that you know um, moving from preconceived notions etc uh, mm-hmm. in in your article you do share um, you know sort of questions that uh, help to draw out the student conceptions of microbes right yeah so yeah. Uh, for instance you know uh, there may be teachers in our audience who would uh, mm. like to design such uh, exercises themselves right yeah that's so, right so could you uh, could you tell us how you identify these questions did they uh, come from classroom experiences educational mm-hmm. research uh, yeah. and then did you test them before you included them in the learning unit 
did any student uh, response to surprise you? So lots of questions for you, but please. Yeah, yeah, right, right. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So such questions have emerged from educational research and students' conceptions and understanding during development of the activity. Now, uh, of course, many of uh, you may know from the audience that uh, such method of you know engaging students uh, is uh, called a Piaget in clinical interview method, mm -hmm. wherein the researcher probes into students' understanding these uh, into a stream of questions that follow from their previous uh, responses. So it's more like a conversation and a discussion. Uh, it's not that okay, you know, you answer where where where, where do you live? and then uh, where is your school or something and there is no disconnect to two different questions like for example if you come across the worksheet students worksheet uh, which is uh, maybe a link can be provided or it's given in the article we start with mm -hmm. questions such as uh, have you seen puddles so what do you think the puddles contain uh, have you ever you know observed what is there in the puddle with the naked eye do you think there is life form in the puddle? So you see, these are all connected questions wherein, you know, it not only helps like an icebreaker to any activity, but also uh, triggers students curiosity. I mean, uh, puddles you see everywhere, but then can it be used to engage you know, a classroom activity that to connect it with curriculum? Then this kind of sort of, you know, discussion uh, questions becomes uh, helpful. So, uh, of course, the article gives some excerpts from the questions uh, and students' responses. Now, regarding testing of the questions, yeah, in the Vigyan Pratibha project itself, the learning unit was uh, developed. When it was developed, it went undergo it undergone revisions when we discussed this with practicing teachers during the resource generation workshops at our center. So, and yeah, coming to the uh, last question, did any of the responses yeah. surprise? Yeah, many. Surprise in fact, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, when I read this one response, like when the soil sample dries, the microorganism mm. dies. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. I mean, yeah. Uh, so, this immediately sent a signal, okay, now, okay. So, there is lots to dwell in this student's understanding in terms of uh, preconceptions or misconception or alternative conceptions what they believe when they are looking at the macro level or microscopic level. And so we think they need exposure and opportunity to imagine the world of life forms at microscopic level. And I remember um, your art, reading your article, Radha, about the soul of soil, right? So oh, uh, many, right. many times <laughs> it becomes soil as a you know non-living entity, but uh, soil has right. such a rich life uh, with, you know. That's true. Uh, minerals, yeah. rocks, and uh, leaves, yeah. and yeah. manure, and compost. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, very true. Oh, that that's very interesting. You brought that up because yeah. it's, again, it was to do with microorganisms. That's true. Right, right. Yeah. Um. Uh. So, uh. So, I was thinking that uh. You know that one. So, you have told me that children, I mean, there are many misconceptions that their 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 उसको लेके मिसकंसेप्शंस hmm. लेके आते हैं और आपने hmm. मतलब ये जो सही प्रश्न जो पूछना है है ना मतलब वो भी एक आर्ट है यानी yeah. कि which questions will dispel the conceptions which questions will sort of get them to think है ना या या वो भी तो कर दिया क्यूरियोसिटी या आपने बहुत ही मतलब बहुत सुंदर तरीके से भी बताया है कि स्टूडेंट्स आंसर्स डिड सरप्राइज यू और वो वो जो आप कह रहे थे कि जो सरप्राइजिंग था वो एक्चुअली वो डस्ट जो मतलब सूख जाता है तो इन सेंस ये आइडिया ऑफ डॉर्मेंसी भी है उसमें जो एक्सप्लेन किया है हम क्या अब तो अब अब थोड़ा आगे बढ़े तो ये दूसरा एक प्रश्न जो आया था कि मतलब यू नो यू यू सर्ट ऑफ इन योर आर्टिकल यू रिक्वेस्ट टीचर्स टू अवॉइड ऑफरिंग क्लूज और आंसर्स टू स्टूडेंट्स हुआ मतलब बच्चों को ऐसे लगा कि एक अभी टीचर को ऐसे लगता है कभी कभी कि क्वेश्चन तो पूछ लिया एंड बच्चे कोई आंसर नहीं कर रहे क्लास में यू नो सो देन यू गेट टेम्पटेड ना कि लेट मी ऑफर सम क्लूज और आंसर्स एंड और यू नो समटाइम्स चिल्ड्रन विल डायरेक्टली आस्क यू कि मैम मुझे मुझे मतलब आंसर बता दीजिए टाइप ऑफ थिंग या या सो हाउ बट बट यू बट यू से वेरी क्लियरली कि अवॉइड ऑफरिंग क्लूज Now, right, uh, right. would you have any suggestions for how teachers can approach? You know, I mean, mm -hmm. first and foremost, why do you think it's necessary that te mm -hmm. teachers should not give clues? 
right? Mm -hmm. And the second yeah. is when children directly ask you, how do you approach the children and you know, how do you evade this? In yeah. Sense? yeah. How do you go yeah. around it? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, ये मतलब ये तो एक शिक्षक का स्वाभाविक स्वभाव है <laughs> कि अगर बच्चों बच्चों को कुछ अड़चन हो या फिर कुछ uh, मतलब समांसर्स अगर ना दे पाए तो दे फैसिलिटेट और प्रॉम्प्ट तो बट इन दिस एक्टिविटी व्हाट वी आर इनकरेजिंग दैट ऑफ कोर्स टीचर्स रोल इज अ फैसिलिटेटर वी आर हम हम ये नहीं एम्फोसाइज करते हैं कि ये राइट right आंसर्स ही लिखे बच्चे so uh, through this activity we want teachers to go ahead and ask students ki okay this is interesting you think about this uh, so can you elaborate and uh, teachers can probe into ideas of students thinking uh, then you know aise samay kya hota hai agar hum unhe poochte hai prashna then unke jo reasonings hai jo students ke reasoning hai justifications hai wo ek teacher ko pata chal sakte hai तो अगर हम रेडीमेड आंसर्स प्रोवाइड करते हैं तो हमें शायद कभी पता नहीं चलेगा कि स्टूडेंट क्या विचार कर रहे हैं तो उनके रीजनिंग जस्टिफिकेशंस क्या किस तरीके से सोचते हैं ये जानना बहुत जरूरी है एंड ऑफ कोर्स दिस हेल्प्स बिल्डिंग स्किल्स ऑफ साइंटिफिक कम्युनिकेशन एंड इट डज नॉट एलियनेट स्टूडेंट्स इवन इफ देर आंसर आर डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द एक्सपेक्टेड राइट आंसर राइट इट विल गिव दम कॉन्फिडेंस कभी कभी होता है यू नो आई रिमेंबर आई मीन वेन वी यूज टू ऑब्जर्व डिस एंड यू नो स्लाइड्स ओके आई सॉ समथिंग आई बिकॉज माई यू नो माई फ्रेंड वॉज सेंग ओके आई सॉ समथिंग मूविंग आई टू ऑलवेज से ओके आई ऑल्सो सॉ समथिंग मूविंग सो वी ऑल हैव डन दिस राइट एनी वे सो सो द टीचर कैन लीड द डिस्कशन ऑन दी वेराइटी ऑफ ऑर्गेनिजम प्रेजेंट इन आर इमीजिएट सराउंडिंग्स uh teacher can mm -hmm. enrich the discussion by engaging them with questions such as of course uh, jaise yeah. aapne kaha ki microbes uh, matlab friends hai ya foes hai matlab wahan se shuruaat kar sakte hai uh, i mean uh, microbes are all around us so why don't we fall sick all the time you know mm -hmm. that's something to do with our immune system and uh, because there are a lot of good bacteria also around us that are useful abhi to microbes uh, like micro organisms have been found so much useful in the vaccination the role that they play in the vaccination mm -hmm. so all this context you know can be brought up uh, in this uh, while discussing this topic mm -hmm. that's a very interesting point yeah and also you yeah. know sometimes i i found that when i used to, when as a teacher and i was a teacher for some time i i am not mm -hmm. a regular teacher anymore but <laughs> um at that time i remember when children would and children would love doing this right they'll ask you a question in, in a very sort of uh, because they want to know the answer and then uh -huh. when you counter that with another question right and then so then it keeps going that way right i mean sometimes uh -huh. you actually you think about it and or you ask them a counter question sometimes and then it becomes a bit of a game with the students as mm. opposed to uh, you know the worry so yeah. um so then um so another question that uh, you know that sort of emerges here is that um, you know many of the uh, microorganism related activities they are uh, you know sort of centered around observing or uh, testing their presence mm -hmm. in um, soil or drinking water right now right, right. puddles of rain water right now how did you come up with the idea of observing mm -hmm. them in puddles of rain water and yeah um like you said earlier about the advantages of using microorganisms but here what are the what are the advantages of using these puddles of rain water you know what's unique mm -hmm. about it so that would be interesting yeah. for our teachers i think yeah yeah right yeah that's an there's an interesting background to this uh, so called puddle so as i informed okay. the activity is developed as the part of the cube project so in cube uh, we developed uh, this to understand of course biodiversity of microorganisms uh, and we observe uh, many uh, many protozoans uh, we study rotifers nematodes so soil worms etc in several uh, other contexts as well but when doing so uh, you know the site of sampling in that uh, cube project is um, is uh, the manholes the concrete areas that we see on the pavements you see so the depressions and the holes in which you know the water is collected or soil and leaves so that becomes a site of sampling for collection uh, so you can draw your sample from that uh, small island 
so we in the cube project is it is very famously called as pagalapos inspired from the galapagos islands because we want to study uh, <laughs> microbial diversity and also in the context of evolution so it's like you know um, a tribute to darwin also darwin's study so uh, initially of course we thought uh, we can you know continue with uh, offering them to uh, collect uh, sample from those uh, Uh, depressions uh, with, uh, in the concrete mm. areas, but then we thought it's very common site in the urban areas. But then uh, in rural areas, uh, we revised the site of sampling into you know puddles, uh, which is you know everywhere. You you just move mm. uh, a few steps and then you see uh, puddles, and then those puddles. I mean, when it rains, it becomes you know uh, full of water. Mm. Otherwise, also. when it is dry it becomes a good uh, sampling uh, mm. site mm. a site for study mm. and it is right there uh, in your mm. background in your mm. uh, school or uh, your in your home so when we wanted to develop this activity for middle school immediately you know young children came to our minds and uh, yeah. they, we all love to jump in puddles we have done that in our childhood mm. children do that so why not bring that uh, context of puddles and then uh, excite them and then open the uh, you know uh, uh, that uh, puddle if, into understanding life forms like micro ecosystems uh, ecological importance uh, diversity uh, all such things survival and of course as you mentioned the dormancy aspect mm-hmm. very micro organisms really. yeah, yeah. and you know um, you had mentioned one thing you were talking about diversity you just know when yeah. you were talking about this party yeah, yeah, yeah. so uh, and even in your even in the unit you no know, you talk about uh, there's a very very interesting statement you make there and i'm just going to quote mm-hmm. it from your article yeah uh, you say it will help uh, will help students connect concepts related to microorganisms from the science curriculum with the diverse microorganisms found in their own surroundings you no know? Right, so right. Uh, this thing about why do you think this ish point of diversity and particularly the need to relate to diverse microbes so why do you think that is important from a learning uh, mm-hmm. point of view yeah 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 so uh, maybe uh, let me answer this in two dif- uh, different uh, aspects sure. perspective rather sure. one is of course from the scientific knowledge and then later being the pedagogical uh, aspect so scientifically uh, microbial diversity is in the range of different kinds of unicellular organisms maybe bacteria mm-hmm. protists and fungi and so their diversities help to sustain the uh, ecosystem in which they grow so they all i mean we all know how important they they have uh, their role is in the life of earth and ecosystems but then they uh, there is a ro- role Uh, of this activity is about mapping the diversity program that we have been pushing at every opportunity of uh, teacher education workshops and sessions so um, so what we wanted to do is that whenever these activities are conducted as as i said in vigyan pratibha we have been conducting this uh, all over uh, this ac schools jnv schools and kvs which are spread across the country now imagine you know what i see Uh, in my locality, you know the microorganisms. Yeah. I may see rotifers. I may see paramecium. You know, I may see euglena. Can the other two children? Can you may see maybe say north side? क्या उस जगह में भी यही microorganisms पाए जाएंगे? मतलब अच्छा नहीं तो फिर क्या पास क्या observe करेंगे? क्या microorganisms observe कर सकते हैं? अगर उस area में नहीं हुए तो फिर कोई और season में observe कर सकते हैं क्या? कि mm-hmm. ये सीजनल है क्या ये सीजनल वेरिएशन स्टडी करने में हेल्प uh, कर सकते हैं क्या तो ऐसे डाइवर्सिटी इन वन कंट्री इटसेल्फ यू नो जस्ट बाय कंडक्टिंग दिस स्मॉल एक्टिविटी वी कैन हेल्प टू मैप द डाइवर्सिटी ऑफ द माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स जस्ट इन आवर लोकेलिटी एंड क्रिएट एन एनरिचिंग सर्ट ऑफ यू नो डेटा बेस और वॉट यू से नॉलेज of this um, uh, tiny life forms in our own uh, mm. e- ecosystems mm. and uh, another reason is of course uh, because it is class 8 class 8 mein hi you know uh, understanding of microscopes begins so you know this con- uh, this activity helps to engage students with giving an hands on approach of how to use microscopes तो माइक्रोस्कोप कैसे यूज करना है ये जो डर होता है माइक्रोस्कोप का कि अगर कुछ मैंने हाथ लगाया कुछ बिगड़ गया तो मुझे कुछ दिखेगा नहीं तो ये डर एक ये जो होता है डर से बाहर आने का प्रयत्न भी ये एक्टिविटी कर सकते हैं 
हाउ टू एडजस्ट लाइट स्टेज स्लाइड आई पीस लाइट को फोकस कैसे करना है ताकि सी समथिंग सो ये सारे यू नो चीजें ध्यान में रखकर हमने ये एक्टिविटी के बारे में सोचा है एंड डाइवर्स माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम मैपिंग फॉर द बायोडाइवर्सिटी इज अ इम्पॉर्टेंट यू नो की पॉइंट इन दिस प्रोजेक्ट that's very inter- and also uh, uh, something that interesting that you said is like imagine mm. if children were able to map it seasonally in the same uh-huh. location yeah 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 right right i right. understand how environmental changes can impact mm. something like this and then the importance of diversity there i guess right right acha right. so yeah. uh, meena we started getting yeah. some questions shall we take okay. some before we continue sure, sure. our conversation yeah yes, so yes, this yes. one from uh, archana dwivedi says ki Uh, I read your mm. article and I've gone through okay. small science too. Um, okay. I'm planning uh, to try this with class five chapter on water. Mm-hmm. Okay. In class eight, how can we continue this activity with internal cell structure? Okay. So I think internal st- cell structure is a very common uh, activity that they introduced about you know root tip, uh, uh-huh. uh, the onion root tip. so okay, yeah. yeah in various uh, levels of the root tip you can uh, also see various stages of mitosis the cell division so uh, mm. i think it's a very common activity so uh, maybe it begins in middle school level itself uh, i i remember mm. that so maybe that activity can be uh, useful for understanding in the internal uh, cell structure at least okay i'm wondering yeah. if archana was trying to connect it to the uh, you know microbial uh, activities because you're using the microbial systems and i was wondering mm-hmm. if she was trying to link uh, using mm-hmm. the same microbial systems to understand internal cell structure i'm not sure right, right. that's what yeah, she yeah. was referring to but uh, right. maybe archana could yeah but uh, yeah but yeah, yeah of course i have a question I, yeah. yeah so when you see all this protozoans in the microscope you are able to see mm. the internal organs itself Mm. so mm. Uh, see water flea take this uh, water flea uh, daphnia mm. which is properly called so when we mm. observe it uh, under the microscope and the uh, a normal dissecting microscope we see the heart beats mm. uh, moving mm. uh, even rotifers as i mentioned we see it's you know mm. rotating wheels uh, that's mm. why the name rotifers so we see all those movements uh, in very simple uh activity through simple my mic- compound microscope of co- school and college level microscopes right. yes so of right. course you can do that yeah yeah so carry it through from class 5 to class 8 and uh, mm. go to the next level maybe in class 8 of microscopic mm. examination right um there's another uh, there's a second question we have from mihika keshari um okay. i'm very interested in microbiology i want to know how we can connect more with the microbial world as we cannot see concepts related to them <laughs> mm. that's like a bro- broad question yeah 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 i don't know whether mehika mehika is a teacher or a, you know or a student uh, aspiring uh, student yeah, <laughs> yeah <laughs> because see that's right. yeah uh, that's an interesting point see this is where we want to bring in the connection of uh, the interest in microbiology and the connect with the concepts in the curriculum given mm. so we are giving mm. context to the curriculum as we you know uh, fame, uh, mm. quite mm. Uh, always say in a cube project mm. so uh, mm. what happens is that um, uh, of course uh, you take uh, uh, the activities of soil sample one can also you know observe many diff- live protozoans with just a mm. drop of um, what do you say hay infused uh, uh, sample mm. you take mm. you just infuse the dry grass keep it overnight yeah. Yeah. just take a tiny drop and you will be very much excited to see what kind different kinds of uh, protozoans you can see and uh, and live by the way <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. So there are lots of uh, experiments you can do at home itself. No, I mean, so for mm-hmm. instance, if you want to connect more with the microbial world and, and concepts related to them, I mean, you, mm. you've just talked about some and even simple things like uh, setting up experiments for fungal growth in the house and you know examining mm. various stages of growth. I mean, there are little little things which you can probably do at home. I think, right? For, yeah, by which you yeah. can begin to really interest. um mina we have a question from vishwanath uh, gopte yeah this is how how do you make these sessions experiential yeah so these sessions experience we uh, do this by asking them to do the activity by themselves 
so if mm. uh, of course the mm. article uh, this is just the article but the background is the teaching learning module so it begins yeah, I'll, I'll show you how this uh, module is developed uh, especially for, mm. uh, while answering this question we begin mm. with of course uh, triggering you know having a discussion uh, preconceived notions mm. then we mm. ask students to uh, when of course we did it uh, even uh, for the teachers uh, as well so we asked the students to disperse from the you know normal set classroom setup go down or go to the garden uh, collect mm. some soil and uh, mm. collect dry soil what wet soil whatever and then you know mark where where are you taking the sample from keep it mm. in the test test tube and then just uh, swirl it and then take a drop of it and then uh, put it on the uh, microscope and observe right. so you uh, we are giving them experience by asking them to do so it's like hands on uh, doing so it's not that teacher is doing something one or two days before of course teachers ye teachers bhi kar sakte hai ek do din ya ek din pehle soil sample ready karke rakhe agar samay ki pabandi hai to lekin students khud matlab garden mein jaake soil collect kar sakte hai and then wahi sample ko microscope ke माइक्रोस्कोप में देखना देख सकते हैं यही एक्सपीरियंस उनको लाइव एक्सपीरियंस दे सकता है ये एक्टिविटी आई होप आई हैव आंसर्ड दिस क्वेश्चन या या नो वेरी आई थिंक यू हैव एक्सप्लेन वेरी क्लियरली दैट द चिल्ड्रन आर इन्वॉल्व इन द चिल्ड्रन आर डूइंग इट देमसेल्फ्स सो दैट इज द होल एक्सपीरियंस हम्म हम्म या एंड विश्वनाथ गोके आल्सो हैज सॉर्ट ऑफ फॉलोअप क्वेश्चन सेइंग कि विद रिगार्ड टू माइक्रोस्कोपी एक्चुअली मोर देन दैट नहीं मोर देन दैट कि उन्होंने कहा कि मतलब प्रश्न से ज्यादा ये एक कमेंट है मेरे ख्याल से विद रिगार्ड टू माइक्रोस्कोपी अनफॉर्चुनेटली द टॉपिक ऑफ ऑप्टिक्स इज इन क्लास नाइन एंड टेन एंड स्टूडेंट्स एट लोअर ग्रेड्स मे नॉट बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड द वर्किंग ऑफ अ माइक्रोस्कोप सही बात है ठीक है तो है ना सही बात है हाँ तो अच्छा बाई द वे मीना मिहिका क्लास ट्वेल्व की स्टूडेंट है तो अब ऐसा करते हैं कि मतलब अभी क्वेश्चन के लिए थोड़ा एक गैप है तो मैं सोची थी हम अपना कॉन्वर्सेशन कंटिन्यू करें तो देर वॉज अनादर पॉइंट की यू नो ट्रेडिशनली राइट आई मीन क्या होता है कि बच्चों को हम माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स के बारे में भी टेल दें कि एयर में माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स हैं पानी में है या अपने मतलब शरीर के अंदर है यू नो वी वी से दैट राइट और नहीं तो कभी कभी क्या होता है कि प्री प्रिपेयर्ड स्लाइड्स जो आप कह रहे थे अभी प्री प्रिपेयर्ड स्लाइड्स दिखाते हैं क्लास में या फिर फोटोज दिखाते हैं टेक्स्ट बुक से है ना बट आपका जो यूनिट आपने जो मैगजीन में मतलब आर्टिकल लिखा है उसमें तो आप बेसिकली बच्चों को खुद जो अभी हम डिस्कस कर रहे थे ना कि बच्चों बच्चों से खुद सो दे कलेक्ट दे ओन सैम्पल्स मतलब वो खुद माइक्रोस्कोप के नीचे देखते हैं उसे फिर वो अपने जो वो देखते हैं वो रिकॉर्ड कर लेते हैं मतलब जैसे एक राइटिंग में या ड्राइंग उसका करते हैं तो ऐसे जो मतलब जो प्रोसेस आपने बताया है कि खुद कलेक्ट करते हैं खुद देखते हैं माइक्रोस्कोप के नीचे देखते हैं लिखते हैं ड्रॉ करते हैं तो ये जो एक पेडोलॉजिकल अप्रोच आपने डिस्क्राइब किया है आर्टिकल सो वॉट आर दी यू नो यू स्पोक लिटिल बिट अबाउट इट बट आर दे सम अदर एडवांटेजेस यूड लाइक टू शेयर मतलब खुद जब ड्रॉ करते हैं या खुद जब लिखते हैं उसके ऊपर आप कुछ तो ये डेवलप करने के लिए ये मॉड्यूल हमने विकसित किया था तो एज वी नो कि ट्रेडिशनल लिविंग फॉर्म्स में एटलीस्ट इन स्कूल साइंस वी आर एक्सपोज टू दट इज ए फिगर्स और ऑफ इमेजेस ऑफ दिस माइक्रोब्स और माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स थ्रू फिगर्स इन द टेक्सट बुक्स ऑफकोर्स विच आर इन टू डायमेंशनल एंड ऑफन नॉट टू स्केल ऑफकोर्स दे आर नॉट टू स्केल and uh, mm. sometimes you know they have used creative ways of illustrating some mm. organisms mm. also 
so uh, it is scientifically uh, you know not that accurate always mm -hmm. so what happens that uh, through this project we give them an opportunity to do biology using live organisms so we don't do we don't uh, do biology with dead organisms we know ki you know ye age old se aa raha you know hote aa raha hai ki there are prepared slides in the schools and colleges and then uh, we are just observing that year after year but then why not give a red, you know what you say first hand exposure ki students apna sample khud collect karke khud observe kare ki microorganisms kya hote hain I am very sure, जैसे कि आर्टिकल के साथ एक फील्ड गाइड भी है पॉन्ड गाइड राइट उसमें बहुत सारे माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम ऐसे है यूग्लिना पैरामिशियम रोटीफर्स सो ये सारे आई एम वेरी श्योर आई मीन आई कैन से इट वेरी कॉन्फिडेंटली कि ये आपको वो सॉइल सैंपल में दिखेंगे ही जरूर दिखेंगे एंड एवरीबडी विल बी एक्साइटेड टू सी एंड कंपेयर दस इमेजेस विद द a uh, textbook images it will be mm -hmm. you know a very uh, uh, exciting experience now let me give you an example uh, mm -hmm. we uh, we have we been culturing hydra now we all know you know mm -hmm. hydra jab hum students ko puchte do you know about hydra have you heard or read somewhere so they yeah, yeah they say ki okay we have the textbook pe diagram hai so usually the diagram is you know it looks like a trunk and with uh, look i mean i i'm just expressing and with the trunk and branches like thing so uh, and then in our lab we have a green hydra chlorohydra because it's uh, it has uh, chlor algae algae living in a symbiotic relation so where it can be seen in a beaker even with naked eye but then uh, what happened uh, some uh, during one of the sessions on national science day so uh, students asked uh, ma'am what is this plant called <laughs> and that was a very much surprise to us yeah they so oh i mean oh wow so what what is triggering them to think that this is plant because it looks mm. green because it has mm. the tree and the branches like structure so you know mm. then we start uh, uh, then we have to start that activity okay whether hydra is plant or animal let alone whether it is you know uh, diploblast or you know uh, to, uh, something like that or uh, then we extend it later at a later point of time that what is it uh, significance because we can study regeneration etc wagera we just do a you know a cutting of any part of hydra and then it can regenerate into an whole organism Hmm. <laughs> Some pictures in oh. the window. <laughs> so yeah. So uh, so what happens when uh, children observe these microorganisms under the microscope, normal uh, compound microscope? We ask them to compare. कि आप जो देख रहे हैं क्या वो textbook के images से है मिलते जुलते हैं कि नहीं? Then you know. Then they can compare and see uh, uh, what's the uh, excitement when they are seeing the live organisms. so i think uh, i think historically also ye yeah, idea aise hi develop hua hai leven hop when he invented the microscope he started observing i mean it for the first time right nobody drew images for him correct correct sahi baat nahi nahi absolutely okay that's an interesting thing to ye jo drawing ka jo ye hai na matlab usually kya hota hai ki jab i mean hum log bhi jab bachche the to Uh, जब ड्राइंग करते हैं बायोलॉजी रिकॉर्ड में तो मतलब बहुत बढ़िया ड्राइंग करना होता है ना मतलब एकदम उसमें कुछ मिस्टेक ना हो और फिर टीचर बोर्ड कभी कभी मतलब ऐसे ऐसे ड्राइंग्स का बहुत मतलब इम्पोर्टेंस था ना तो तो यू वर सजेस्टिंग कि यू नो इन द आर्टिकल यू वर सेइंग कि बच्चों को ड्रॉ करना चाहिए जो वो माइक्रोस्कोप के नीचे देखते हैं वो ड्रॉ करना चाहिए राइट and ah. also uh, ki matlab uh, to isme ek question tha teacher ki taraf se main main puch raha hu matlab main puch rahi hu as a teacher ki uh, aise jab hum bachchon ko kehte hain ki you draw right uh, mm -hmm. to practice mein matlab kaise karenge ki uh, as a teacher ki main kya feedback offer karu ki tumne drawing sahi kiya ya nahi corrections offer karu and uh, to wo ek hai teacher ki taraf se दूसरा जो अगर बच्चे अनकंफर्टेबल हों ड्राइंग में ना कोई बच्चे कहते हैं कि आई कैन नॉट ड्रॉ एट ऑल राइट तो उनके लिए कुछ मतलब वैसे टीचर्स के लिए कुछ सजेशंस होगा मतलब आप आप बता सकते हैं कि कैसे डील करें ये सिचुएशन है ना या सो थैंक्स फॉर दैट क्वेश्चन ये क्वेश्चन दिस हैज अ लॉट ऑफ पेडोलॉजिकल इम्प्लीकेशन इनफैक्ट 
so the teachers through this uh, activity teachers can not only build conceptual knowledge but also help students to build their drawing and observing skills uh, so in uh, science education and research uh, like we promote to learn by doing learn by inquiry we say you know learning by rote or memorization mm -hmm. so uh, we have been uh, reproducing jaise aapne kaha ki hum wahi wahi diagram draw karte aa rahe hain हमारे टेक्स्ट बुक में इन द वर्कशीट एज वेल एज हमें जब एग्जाम में वो रिप्रोड्यूस करना होता है यू नो ड्रॉ एंड लेबल एंड सम ऑर्गेनिज्म से प्रोटोजोन एनी प्रोटोजियम सो वी रिमेंबर व्हाट वी हैव सीन इन द टेक्स्ट बुक एंड वी ड्रॉ बट देन विद दिस ऑफ कोर्स विच आर वी रिमेंबर सीइंग द डेड स्पेसिमेंस ऑफ द स्लाइड्स आल्सो एट सम टाइम्स सो जब बच्चे लेकिन रियल लाइफ सिचुएशन में व्हेन दे गेट एक्सपीरियंस सो क्या hmm. होता है दे के नॉट मेक द कनेक्शन ऑफ द स्केल इन टर्म्स ऑफ मेजरमेंट्स एंड एस्टिमेशन देन व्हेन वी आस्क देम कैन यू एस्टिमेट द साइज ऑफ व्हाट यू आर ऑब्जर्विंग फिर इट बिकम्स अ डिफरेंट एंगेजमेंट इट सेल्फ बिकॉज वो कनेक्शन नहीं होता है जब टेक्स्ट बुक की इमेजेस हम याद करके रिप्रोड्यूस करते हैं और जब हम देखते हैं तो हमें अगर कहना है कि क्या क्या है मतलब आ, क्या साइज है ऑफकोर्स दैट साइज इज नॉट सेंटीमीटर्स राइट इट इज इवन लेस देन मिलीमीटर्स माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स आर मेजर्ड एस्टिमेटेड इन माइक्रॉन्स तो वो यूनिट्स के बारे में भी सोचना Uh, वो एक्सपोजर देने के लिए हेल्प हो हो सकता है विद दिस एक्टिविटी ऐसा नहीं कि माइक्रॉन का का एस्टिमेशन और यू नो एस्टिमेशन इन माइक्रॉन माइक्रॉन मेजरमेंट्स कैन ओनली बी डन इन हायर क्लासेस नो इट कैन बी डन विद द सिंपल एक्टिविटी इवन विद दिस क्लास एट ऑनवर्ड्स और यही uh, एक uh, यही एक्टिविटी को हमने डेवलप किया है विच इज पब्लिश्ड इन टीचर प्लस जुलाई 2020 थाउजेंड इश्यू गेटिंग डाउन टू द माइक्रॉन एनीवे सो दैट वाज जस्ट अ कनेक्शन टू दिस पॉइंट राइट सो व्हाट हैपेंस इज दैट या uh ha this uh, also yeah. the other uh, i mean this thing yeah. about size you were saying no size yes, yes, estimation right. right those are uh, estimation is a very important very important uh, element of exactly. science learning right i mean right right yeah, yeah. in so, fact uh, Aina, i know uh, aha yeah. okay sorry go ahead no go ahead no no i just want to share a, a interesting response uh, which is also reproduced in that article we often you know we have done this exercise exercise with students and teachers you know what is a, a micron so mm. they say 10 raised to minus 6 <laughs> but then we have to ask 10 raised to minus 6 of what <laughs> of a meter or a millimeter or a centimeter yeah so anyway we have discussed lots lots of these uh, things into uh, that article and of course we believe that estimation is very much necessary which uh, you know kinds of bridge in ye jo ganit aur biology ka jo bhay hai to wo hame kahi to nikalna hai तो उससे वो एस्टिमेशन का एक्टिविटी कैन हेल्प टू ब्रिज दैट एट लीस्ट एंड एज फार एज यू आर आस्किंग कि मे बी यू नो सम चिल्ड्रन आर नॉट कंफर्टेबल इन ड्राइंग सम में से कि हमें ड्राइंग नहीं करना है तो मे बी टीचर कैन जस्ट यू नो एक्ट एज फैसिलिटेटर ओके कैन यू डिस्क्राइब और नरेट व्हाट यू आर ऑब्जर्विंग व्हाट इज इट्स शेप इट्स कलर यू नो विज वेदर इट इज मूविंग something like that so those responses mm -hmm. can be noted down and then we can compare mm -hmm. it with the drawings of the textbooks something like that something like that but also another point was you know as a teacher for instance should uh -huh. should i correct the drawings you know matlab uh -huh. uh, how do i what, what should the teacher's role be you know, should they correct uh -huh. the drawings or not it's a bit uh -huh. of a hesitation as well right? uh, so what is your yeah. uh, suggestion on that yeah right see at at first hand i mean first uh, uh, moment itself let them draw what they have they have been observing over a period of time when you are continuously engaging then teacher can you know uh, bridge it and then they can start uh, making some notes of changes okay maybe this part uh... can you hear me हेलो 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 या 
Sure. Uh, maybe I, I'll just continue. Yeah, yeah, please continue. Yes. Yeah. Sorry, uh, I think there has been a break in the, I think we've lost um, Nina for a little bit. Um, we will uh, probably uh, wait for a little bit till um, she comes back and then continue with the conversation. But I think uh, some of the questions that Meena has been sort of uh, talking about and sharing with us on um, you know, the use of um, why drawings are uh, important and why uh, it's important for teachers sort of not to correct the drawings right in the beginning. So I think those were some very important pedagogical uh, sort of uh, hints, I think, that she was giving many of us, many of us who are teachers. Um, there are a couple of questions, and I think we'll just wait for a few uh, minutes, maybe, till uh, Meena comes back. And if any of you have any other questions, please do type it in. Um, if for some reason Meena is not able to join us, we will definitely uh, you know, take your questions to her and she can respond to you. Yeah. So we'll just wait maybe for a couple of minutes. Yes. And I think some of you had some uh, questions about uh, practical problems with microscopy. And so I think we can um, you know, take, take those when uh, Meena comes back. Yeah. I think we have Meena back, actually. Yeah. yeah. Hi, Meena. Sorry about the network issue. We are. <laughs> so, I'm sorry, everybody. Think, yeah, no, I think everybody suffers from these things. They're all <laughs> online these days. Yeah. So, Meena, yeah. let's continue the conversation there. So, sure. there is a biology teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay, and um, um, it, it says Cancerian 57, so I'm not sure of the name, but <laughs> I'm a biology teacher and I have experienced some practical problems with microscopy. Uh, for example, when one sees a sample mm -hmm. under a microscope, the organisms keep moving and can move out of view. How do we fix them? <laughs> I think that there is no uh, particular answer to this. Uh, uh, I mean, if they're moving, you enjoy because you're observing live organisms, isn't it? Yes. So have fun in that, I think. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so fixing of slide requires, an, a, technically, if we want to give, give an answer, of course, you can use cover slip. And uh, of course, there are various methods of staining and fixing the slides, right. which you learn in uh, maybe at college level and all. If unless you're doing this uh, this exercise at home, so these small tips may help you. Right, right. Yeah. And um, she also the same person he or she they want to know where do you look for hydra yeah. and planaria? Oh, <laughs> that's a good question. Uh, hydra is a freshwater organism. Of course, right. planaria also. Um, we study hydra, planaria. Uh, mm -hmm. in context of regeneration, even uh, earthworms. So mm -hmm. uh, they, Hydra, you can see it in uh, pond water, a freshwater organisms. Mm -hmm. Mostly, you know, we've been uh, culturing, uh, we acquired it from a uh, different institute, mm -hmm. uh, like Agarka Research Institute, mm -hmm. and we've been culturing. Most of the students can culture, uh, keep them alive, mm -hmm. uh, and just grow them in a tank. <coughs> mm -hmm. okay. So it's a freshwater organism. You can see it in uh, a normal uh, stream of water. And uh, uh, Vishwanath Gopte again has a, a couple mm -hmm. of questions. What physics and chemistry related connections would these activities provide? Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, first of all, as you have yourself pointed out, uh, sir, uh, that uh, through microscopy, the, uh, mm -hmm. the optics uh, mm -hmm. that is learned in 9th and 10th. So why, why don't we bring that connection of mm -hmm. uh, optics 
to the microscopy when you're doing this activity. You in the sense when we are doing this activity. And as far as chemistry is concerned, of course, the biochemical pathways, you know, uh, the biochemistry behind it, uh, mm -hmm. all this can be connected when we are observing the micros microorganisms. So, of course, we have to, I mean, every living organisms, you know, require energy from, from where this energy is coming. What are the various biochemical pathways that are taking place inside each and every microorganism? So, there is whole, uh, a lot of scope to connect all these topics in physics, chemistry, uh, while doing this biology activity. I'm glad uh, this question has emerged. Uh, this not yeah. only helps to bridge and make, connect and make it very interdisciplinary. So, you see, just a simple activity of collecting soil sample or water, uh, you know, has so much of scope mm. Uh, mm. in this uh, area. Yeah, in science learning. Uh, and, uh, yeah. Yeah, science learning. yeah. So um, there's another uh, question from uh, Vishwanath Gopti. Estimations and calculation can make mm. students realize that mathematics plays a vital role mm. where the physical senses fail to do. Very, very, very interesting comment. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's another. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought it would be. Thanks for that. Uh, yeah. So um, then, um, of course, um, from question uh, nine, I mean, the same question, Vishwanath Gopi says that microscopy is a fantastic example of this. That's very true. <laughs> very, very mm -hmm. true. So. Yeah. Um, so while we wait for uh, you know more questions, I was just wondering. There was another uh, question that you know we were, remember when during our discussion there was another question that we were thinking about, which is, you know, um, you have uh, sort of shared this learning unit with the teachers from many mm. schools, right? And you right. also encouraged them to you know try it out with their students, right? So. Um, and you had mentioned earlier that you did make some revisions, you know, it went back and forth, the learning unit, right? So I was wondering right, if right. there were any specific things um, that, you know, just to reiterate for our uh, um, listeners, viewers, that uh, mm. were there anything, you know, any any sort of specific revisions or were substantial even sometimes, you know? Mm -hmm. you know I thought I were making it, what could have been some of those revisions. Which yeah. Right, right. Yeah, so see, any developing activity is always without revisions, revisions after revisions. Mm -hmm. So as I think I mentioned a bit earlier, uh, that we wanted to directly be ask the uh, do the activity by asking students to collect the sample. But then we revised it during our workshop with teachers that no, we want to first collect their ideas, like what are their uh, spontaneous uh, th thinking about, you know, preconceived notions of what do they think about the microbes or microorganisms itself. Let us first get to know and then build that activity. Uh, let us see if there is conflict in understanding. Can it challenge us to help them to you know know better? So that was uh, one of the revisions. And uh, of course, the uh, as I mentioned, the estimation part. Uh, initially, it was combined in the activity itself. I mean, the teaching learning module that we wanted to develop the idea of observation, drawing, as well as estimation. But then uh, during, of course, in such classroom experiences where it was tried for so many sessions and uh, with, along with many teachers, then it was felt, no, uh, this becomes quite a, a huge task. And then that's where we thought we should separate. We can separate uh, estimation uh, as a separate teaching learning uh, module from these basic uh, observations and uh, drawing modules. Because what happens, uh, as I said, we want to, uh, you know, expose them to this uh, uh, area of the scale of the scale of observation of the millimeter scale, the two divisions uh, on the centimeter scale. So we wanted to know what is their understanding of all these scales and divisions and the visual field that you're observing. I mean, uh, in one of the teachers' workshop, <laughs> we just asked them, Ki, what is the size of the visual field that you are, you want, you are observing under the microscope? Mm -hmm. The answers were very interesting, like two centimeter, four centimeter. We asked them to just take a scale and then uh, figure out yeah. what is the, yeah. And then it come, came down to just one millimeter and it was such a surprise. Yes. So, so that's how you get them into building the, uh, you know, thinking in terms of that uh, scale of uh, millimeter uh, at the millimeter level. And we all know 
the divisions between two uh, the two divisions on the centimeter scales is the division of 1 mm right mm -hmm. and we know what millimeter is nothing but 1000 micron so if you are saying anything in that range you are ob obviously observing micron level microorganisms you can see a 400 micron uh, protozoa with a simple compound microscope so we thought okay let us give this excitement or a, a challenging experience in a separate activity <laughs> rather than you know clubbing and fitting it uh, and oh. then making it very boring and uh, yeah. uh, or sometimes if they ignore so that's where we developed it uh, as a separate module of course mm -hmm. but as uh, one of the comments pointed out mathematics biology physics everything can be connected so that was but another revision <laughs> Yeah. yeah. No, it's fascinating that uh, you know, this whole process of uh, developing a learning model, such an right. iterative process, and uh, yeah. that it's important for it to be iterative. Otherwise, you don't, yeah. um, it, the learning, right. uh, learning effort that emerges is great. Right. So, Meena, I think uh, uh, we have, I don't think we have any more questions. Mm -hmm. So, um, unless you have any parting thoughts, I was going to wrap up the session if you had any <laughs> parting thoughts for the teachers. Uh, amongst yeah. Our yeah, no, uh, yeah, I mean, parting thoughts would be like uh, this is a very simple activity. It is connected to class uh, 8, chapter 2, I guess. Mm -hmm. So, that activity is mentioned as a box. So, that activity has been developed into such a vast and interesting mm -hmm. experience. So please try this activity with students. Uh, read the article. From the article, you'll know, get to know the worksheet, the teaching learning module. All the links are available. And uh, you may you know, uh, share your experiences with us. The thing is, uh, uh, I mean, work in groups. I mean, ask children to uh, work along with their uh, friends and together as an activity, make it as a group activity, make it as a fun activity and at the same time connect it with the classroom. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. of course, uh, at, as I said, we have been pushing this uh, idea of mapping the diversity. So if if this uh, seminar or webinar is being you know, viewed from different places of the country, we want to that we can area se, jo bhi aap, observe kar sake, uski note down ki jay, and share ki jay, at least in the network of KVs, network of JNVs, that, whichever school networks uh, in our uh, country mein hai, to ye mapping bohut zaruri hoga aur seasonal mapping bhi bohut exciting project ho sakta hai. Thank you so much. That was lovely. Nahi, sahi baat hai. Matlab, just to get varied and like you said, diversity. Right. I say information that like, what is the diversity, microbial diversity, seasonal, different places, and as you said, collaborative, working yes. together. So many elements mm -hmm. of science learning that, that we yeah. do. Right. And Meena and, um, and all of those who joined us today, thank you very much. Um, you know, some in case you have additional questions which we, which, which we have not been able to take up or you have additional questions on this, uh, please do uh, send it in to us um, and do join us again for our next webinar on November the 10th, 2021. And for those who have not subscribed to I Wonder yet, we hope you do so now. Uh, and Meena, thank you so much for such a, for sharing your experience in at every level, you know, developing the module and engaging with and truly telling us how experiential this teaching learning experience can be. So thank you very yeah. much. And thank you very much to all the participants as well for engaging so much with us. Thank you. Yeah. So thank you, everybody. Thank you, I wonder. Thank you, the audiences, for wonderful comments.